After a 37-year drought, racing has been blessed with two Triple Crown winners in a three-year span. And there's one farm in Kentucky that has close relatives to both. We visited Summer Wind Farm and owner Jane Lyon to discuss her pride and joy, Little Princess Emma, the Dam of American Pharaoh, as well as one of her newest mares, Holiday Music, a half-sister to Justify. And here it is, the 37-year wait is over. American Pharaoh is finally the one. American Pharaoh has won the Triple Crown. I'm standing here with the best mare in the whole world. I'm a little prejudiced. Little Princess Emma and her latest work of art, full sister to Chasing Yesterday. She's just the ultimate mayor. Couldn't ask for more from her, couldn't ask for a better disposition, a better mayor to be around, a better mayor foaling, a better mother. Wish I had a whole barn full of them. Here is the newest baby as yet unnamed, and as you can see, she likes people too. <laughs> okay, mama, okay. Yeah, I'd say she does pass it on. She's a taller filly, a lot longer legged, probably, probably a little more scope. Chasing yesterday was more compact. She had less leg and a little less body length. I think this will be a taller filly, but as far as her personality, yes, she's very gregarious and has a perfect kissable nose. We like her size and her scope. She's got a beautiful top line, a lovely neck, and a, probably the prettiest head of any of Emma's bowls so far. I hope she can run as good as she looks. Chasing Yesterday was the first. The Colt, the yearling that I have named Triple Tap, is a lovely, lovely animal. And this filly is gorgeous. Justify is still there. Justify from Gronkowski. He's just perfect. And now he's just immortal. Justify is the 13th Triple Tap. When we knew Justify appeared to be something special, and of course no one knew how special at the time, we found out that there was a sister, a half-sister to him, near us in Kentucky, and we went over and we were able to purchase her. She was a four-year-old, unmated mare, a Harlan's Holiday, Holiday Music, and we bred her to Pioneer of the Nile, and she has had a Pioneer of the Nile filly which is pretty exciting. She is bred back to American Pharaoh. I thought that was a fairly neat twist in that the sister to a Triple Crown winner being mated to a Triple Crown winner. So we're anxious to see what that produces. She's very nice. The mare, I think, outproduces herself. It, the foal is balanced and very attractive. And, um, we're very happy with her.